Hey, what's up guys? Yes, look at this hair. <laughs> I want to try something new. I mean, it's just too much. So, let's start with doing the parting on the side by my ear. And I'm basically just going to part and separate the front from the back. Okay, now I'm going to put the front away. We'll get to that later. And I want to start on the back half of my hair first. So I'm going to basically just do a braid down and get rid of all of the hair in the back. It's so hard doing your own hair sometimes because you really can't see what you're doing, but luckily for this style, precision does not matter. So please don't judge these parts, but I'm braiding straight down. I'm just gonna do medium sized braids and braid them to the bottom and then connect them all. This first braid is gonna go all the way over under my nape and stretch to the opposite side and then the other ones are just gonna go straight down. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect all the braids together so it's nice and flat in the back and the braids are secured with a bobby pin. If I wanted this style to last longer, I could use thread and sew the bottom part down but this is just a quick style just trying something new you know seeing what my options are when I want to change up my look from my fro all right so now we're going to focus on the front the hardest thing to me about doing styles that you have to part the hair is getting the part straight I am such a stickler for straight parts and it takes me a minute sometimes, but I really want to get through this style, so I'm going to try to speed it up. So I'm going to take one section going on a diagonal, like right above the front of my eyebrow, and going backwards to towards my ear, basically. So now I'm going to do a similar section on the opposite side of my head, starting closer to the middle of my forehead and stretching outward towards the opposite side. Okay, those parts look pretty straight, right? Cool. So what I'm doing now is basically mocking each piece. I'm going to do three Bantu knots. Um, and the middle one is going to have a center braid, but before I permanently put them in, I just like to check for placement in the style so that I know it's not gonna be off. So I'm just gonna check for evenness, making sure there's a similar amount of hair on the right side and the left side, making sure they match. Sometimes you can't see it until you bring it closer together. So I'm like eyeballing the look, adjusting my parting a little bit here and there before I actually set the style. Okay, that looks about right. Got it. Now keep in mind sometimes when you pull the hair, it changes the shape of the part. So I'm noticing that I need to adjust again. <laughs> I wish I was not so anal about these parts, but it drives me crazy. So I'm just adjusting, doing a little bit more adjustments. There we go. So the first thing I'm using is the Myel Organics Edge Gel. And sorry, it's upside down, but you get the point. And I'm gonna use a generous amount on my edges. I really want them nice and smooth. 
The edge gel gives a really nice shine and now I'm just gonna comb in the product so that you can't see any of it and it's not like sitting on top of my hair. So now that that's smooth, I'm gonna do my first ponytail and I'm just brushing in the product, rubbing it in a little bit. Cool. So I did the same thing on the opposite side and I'm checking for symmetry, making sure the ponytail is balanced with the other one. So I'm using more edge gel now, smoothing it up. And I'm gonna kind of comb in the product so it's not clumping up anywhere. All right, so now I'm doing an under braid and I'm basically braiding the hair going downward so that the braid isn't sitting on top of the hair, it's like underneath. So there's my braid and now I'm gonna put that in the ponytail. All right. And I'm adding a little bit of hair, slightly lighter then my hair because what I'm gonna do on top of the back is use color that's not quite so red. So I'm using some synthetic hair to neutralize the red tones in my hair a little bit once I make the knots so it doesn't look off with my hair I'm gonna use. So now I'm just braiding the hair together as far as it'll go and I'm gonna do a bantu knot similar to the one on the left. So now I'm wrapping the ball around until it's all the way in and secure. And I'm just gonna stick a bobby pin at the base of that so that it stays. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about in these videos when I'm shooting them, but <laughs> it's so funny because it doesn't go, but I'm gonna keep it going. All right, so now I have my knots. I'm still checking for symmetry. Sometimes you have to play with the balls a little bit just to make sure they look right. So this is my hair I pulled out from an old bag I had of hair pieces. And I must have taken the clips off at some point because I don't have clips on there anymore. So instead, for the sake of time, I'm going to secure this piece with bobby pins. But normally I would definitely recommend to use and sew toupee clips onto the piece so that it stays a lot easier. Cause bobby pins can slip out of place sometimes, but luckily with the braids, they'll stay pretty secure. So I'm gonna put about seven or eight bobby pins in there, all over the top, the bottom, and in the middle. So now I'm just gonna fluff out these curls. And I think I'm done. Thanks for watching guys.